For the first step, obviously, you need to set up the video player, which in my case is gonna be an Architect Anon Pro TV under prefabs, and I'm going to use the Slim TV prefab. Next step, we need to have a render texture. For this, I've imported VideoRT. You will find it in the folder Project VideoRT. And for this to work, we have to go to our scene, create a 3D object, quad. Make sure to remove the mesh collider, otherwise it's gonna cause problems. Now we see this material called video blit. We drag it into element zero of video RT. So make sure your screen is a quad, which with ProTV, we have the benefit that it's already using a quad. For this to actually work, we have to add a component, call it AviPro video screen. Make sure it's set to use shared material. And as a video player, you select your imported video player, which in my case is 1080p. And for AV Pro, we have to make sure that it's set to use shared material as well, otherwise it will cause problems. First, we have to create a new material. Then our assets, we can just right click, create material. Now in the inspector, we see the shader options. We want area lit light mesh. So in this shader, we have certain options that affect the lighting. For example, in color, we have a feature called intensity. If you want it brighter, for example, you can increase it. Also, what is important, we see here a feature called texture index. With area lit, we have the benefit that we can use multiple textures and each one gets a different slot, so in this case we're using slot 0, just keep in mind which number you're going to use. We have to go on our speaker, I mean on our screen, and under materials we have to increase the size by 1, so if it's one material it has to be 2, and in Second slot, we drag in our newly created video light mesh. Also, we have to make sure that our object is on the layer transparent FX, otherwise it will not be recognized by Aerialit. And we have an Aerialit example, a couple of prefabs, for example the light cam, which is what we need. Because we are not going to use light meshes in this example, I'm going to deactivate the light text cam to save on resources. And personally I recommend always tagging it as editor only if you are not planning on using it inside VRShell, so it doesn't get compiled into VRC in the first place. You can now see here if we click on the light mesh cam, a big bounding box. We want it to be slightly bigger than our mesh or our geometry. And we have a couple of features to adjust the size. We have the size itself and clipping planes near and far. I recommend just playing around with it a little bit to get a catch out of it. And then we can try to adjust this to the size of our room. For the last step of this, set up our materials. I use Moshi Standard, but you can also use the Aerolit Standard. You can see here Aerial Light Mesh, uh, Light Maps, which is the same as in Moshi Shader, Aerolit. And here the and now we need the mesh from our light cam, which we find under Aerolit Example Light Mesh. We just drag it into the mesh slot. Texture zero is going to be our render texture because we set our material to use 
slot 0. If you use video RT, you will find it under project video RT video. For the render texture, you have to make sure that you have mipmaps enabled. Also make sure that filtering mode, uh, mode is at least trilinear. Also recommended to have anisotropic filtering enabled in your project. Do the same thing with all other materials in your scene. You need the render texture. Texture zero. Perfect. And every little example, the light mesh dragged into the mesh slot. There we go. Now our room should be nice and shiny when we play a video. Avatars are not going to light up from it because they are just using basic shaders that are not made for aerial adhesive, which is why we have the projector. I would just recommend going into the demo scene of aerial and go to scene projector and copy this from your scene. We see similarly that it has a bounding box and personally I recommend doing the same as with the light cam to have it around whatever you prefer so it illuminates everything that you want to illuminate. One projector is for the scene itself and the other projector is for mirrors so it also gets rendered in mirrors. So if you want your mirrors to be affected as well then you have to make sure it's activated. You can, to save resources, make a toggle in your scene that it only turns on when your mirror turns on and turns off again when you turn off your mirror. You see that um, the projector comes with a material as well. It's the area lit projector material and same as with the regular materials that we need the light mesh that we found an area lit example and it needs our render texture that we find in project video RT. 